hello there and welcome to my channel we are going to do what uh, positive opportunities are you manifesting so I've got three decks here pick which one you feel most drawn to and we'll get started with your reading so for those of you who pick this deck let's see what your messages are so what positive opportunities are you manifesting We've got abundance, resistance, and action. Okay. And I'm going to grab one of these cards as well from the Angels of Abundance deck. Okay. Pay yourself first. Okay, so what I see here, and I'm just going to grab my little little stick. All right, so you have abundance that you are manifesting. Okay. I'm just going to pick this card up here because I see here this is being very creative energy. And I feel like there's a connection with animals as well. Hang on, while I just move my feet. <laughs> um, so I feel like there's a connection with animals. Can you see all these beautiful little animals in the background here? I also want to say that you're being very supported at the moment as well. I do feel like you're being guided. I also see here that um, it's. I feel like there's a sense to me when spring comes when summer comes i can see things starting to open up for you i feel like this is more so in the way of you really being more resourceful i'm also seeing people helping you out people sharing things with you sharing their gifts with you people uh, you know giving you ideas uh, it's just coming in many different ways that I can see it, but there's a lot of offerings from your community, a lot of offerings from the people around you. And I get this sense of you not needing anything. I feel like everything that you need is with you. And you are just going to be opening up more and more to this abundance, okay? I'm also seeing that this abundance is in line with your life purpose as well, okay? Because we've got the 3 and the 8, which adds up to 11. So you're on the course to your life purpose. And your life purpose involves creativity. And this creativity is what's going to bring your abundance. So the more you follow the creative path, and what I mean by creative path is the path that is most suited to you what what path lights you up it's it's um your creation your own individual creation there's a lot of individuality here so i feel like you're also you're going to be feeling much more independent much more um st much more stability in your life okay you're also going to feel like i, I hear heart opening I get this warm and fuzzy feeling so I feel like you're going to be just feeling really um, really acknowledged by people around you um, and really happy within yourself and I, with this resistance here I feel like it's you really learning to um, open up to what the universe has to offer you and open up to the gems that are around you I feel like in the past you may have had to learn a lot about um, releasing control of things and allowing things to be and freeing yourself, freeing your spirit, okay? And I feel like in the past you may have felt quite small, but now you are flying, well you will be, what you're manifesting is this freedom, this independence, this stability and this love, okay? Love of self and this real... Um, connection with the people around you okay and with this action card I see you taking the action that you feel led to take on your creative path towards your creative pursuits whatever they may be and I see you again 
she's really open and she's and she's ready to receive so you're ready to receive so whatever is going on for you right now um, because I am hearing some of you maybe hearing this and going I can't see this happening like I'm in a dark place or I, you know I'm not receiving anything I feel like this is guidance and messages that you will whatever's going on in the moment for you emotionally uh, or physically it's getting you ready for this energy it's releasing you and, and and bringing you to a completion in your life so that you can open up to this abundance and then with this card here you have pay yourself first make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid this loving form of self-care ensures that you'll, you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. And I feel like this is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting the resources you need. You're manifesting um, self-love. And I see that you um, are going to feel really grounded, okay? And I, I feel like there's also a message here about you whenever you can... Um, putting money towards things that are going to really nourish you and really give you and your your self growth you know like this could be workshops education uh, it, this could be even beauty beauty care or something to do something that's going to nourish you make you feel good because that's really going to show the universe that you really care about yourself and that you're willing to receive more okay so that's the messages I have for you. I hope that helps you. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Write a comment down below if you felt it resonates. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello group two. So those of you who picked this deck here, let's have a look at what opportunities you're manifesting. What positive opportunities are you manifesting? I just don't want to shuffle it too close to the water in case it goes in. <laughs> okay, so we have wide open. This is good. And we got two more here. Protecting treasure and follow the leader. And flying. And we're going to grab one more from the Angel of Abundance deck. Conscious Consumer. Okay, what are you manifesting? Where did my little stick go? Here it went. <laughs> okay. I'm getting money, finances. I'm seeing here with this chest that I feel like it's like you are going to have your um, a chest of a financial protection. Okay, so I feel like you're manifesting. It could be an inheritance. It could be. Uh, some winnings it could be I, I definitely feel like there's a lump sum it could be you selling a house or oops sorry it's not the camera um, it, it, I just see you really sitting on something perhaps it could be an investment you've had and you've been waiting on a return um, but there's definitely some sort of financial um, abundance or windfall coming in for you okay and I do get the sense that you've been waiting on it for a little while, but it's going to rain in on you very soon. I can see here with this following the path that I feel like you've had some lessons or learnings around, um, around patience and timing, but also around you taking leadership in your life. And I feel like you had to learn this before these finances came into your reality, okay? Um, it was just because I feel like it was it's it's for the benefit of you it's like you had to you had to be open wide to see something you had to 
see the expansiveness and the nature of who you really are before this came in so that you could really use these funds for the benefiting of your, your soul's growth so that you could look after your family, okay? And so that you could create your own sort of empire or your own sort of um, life of peace, life of um, happiness, okay? Um, because I feel like if you had have received it earlier, you know, not that you wouldn't have respected the money because I see that you would have respected it. I just see that perhaps you wouldn't have um, appreciated it in the same way or used it to your soul's best advantage, okay, for your highest good, okay. So I, I feel like for you, there's something you've been waiting on and it's coming. It's coming to you very soon. And if this is not finances, this could be a job you've been waiting on that is um, that is going to provide you with great security or this could be um, oh, I just keep hearing investment so I feel like for a lot of you watching this is something to do with an investment of some sort and then we have here flying you are going to feel so free and light because you've been waiting for this so long and so when this comes in it's like you're going to be like, wow, now I can really, um, like the world's my oyster now and I can go and travel or I can go and, um, you know, it's released me. It's released me from something, okay? And now that I, now I can really enjoy my life, I can use this money to enjoy myself and to actually live, I'm hearing, live for once is what I'm hearing. So this is really happy change for you. It's really positive movement forwards for you. So keep enjoying your moment right now. Keep following your path of leadership. Keep um, positive, keep patient, and it's going to come your way very soon, okay? I'm also seeing with this conscious consumer here, okay, I feel like, yeah, okay, this is making sense because I didn't even look at this card properly. Um, but this really aligns with what I was feeling about you just needing to learn something before you receive this money. And it was so that you could become more of a conscious consumer, okay? It says you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade or organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. So some of you may have invested in something to do with organic goods or, you know, conscious consuming companies, okay? Or it could be just that now, once you receive this, you're really going to be conscious about what you're spending your money on, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you. So, um... That's really, really beautiful, and I'm looking forward for that to that for you. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you felt it resonated. Much love. Bye for now. Hello, Group Three. You chose this deck here. Let's have a look at what opportunities you're manifesting. These are the Gateway Oracles. So, what are you opening? What gate are you opening? positive opportunities we have cherishing self listening with your heart mending bridges and I'm being guided to do one more from this deck anyway Well, that's too many, Spirit. <laughs> that's better. Oh, look at this. Oh. Right. Okay. So. Oh, we forgot. We've got to do the... We can do that last. Yes. We'll do that last. Okay. So you've got cherishing self, listen with your heart, mending bridges and receiving from angels. You are manifesting... You are manifesting support and you are manifesting a healing within your relationship, okay? This could be romantic relationship 
or it could be to do with relationship with um, with family okay I'm, I'm seeing it I'm being shown a group okay now this might be a particular message for you but I'm see, being shown a group and in this group I see you trying to communicate with others but I'm not seeing you being heard I'm hearing that's going to change okay that is going to turn around and you're going to start to be heard and this is the reason why you're starting to be heard and understood is because you have been learning to cherish and accept yourself and love yourself just the way you are. I feel like you've had to do some learning and lessons around um, self-growth and self-awareness. And it's not really lessons, right? But sometimes that word sounds a little bit harsh. But it's more about an awareness around you loving yourself and really looking after yourself and gifting your own self. You know, instead of giving to everyone else, you know, you've been given the opportunity to give to yourself. And, and through doing this, it's changing your energy, it's changing your frequency, and other people are now seeing a different side of you. And it's like, I feel like before, it was like, um, I feel like your aura was just so, was so small that people didn't even know how to get in, if you know what I mean. But it's like now there's this light shining from you and people noticing you now. People are wanting to speak. They want to hear what you have to say now. This is a really, really big shift. And I see here your angels are saying that this is not, this is not the only thing that you're going to be receiving. They're bringing in more blessings for you. And I feel like you are um, going to be gaining a lot more empowerment and a lot more um, confidence okay I'm seeing for some of you you may even be doing public speaking um, things that you never ever thought that you would be doing I really feel like your angels are sort of um, guiding you in that direction because they want to they want you to know how much of a beautiful soul you are and how worthy you are of all of the love and all of the um, the protection I'm hearing and care from others so this is really beautiful guys now let's have a look now at um, it's getting a little bit windy so I hope you can still hear me let's have a look at what the abundance angels of abundance Oracle says oh look at this seven vows of poverty dear one there's no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all direction of time. And as I said, I felt like your aura was kind of like small. It wasn't large because you sort of kept to yourself because you didn't feel valued, you didn't feel loved, you felt in lack. And... Um, and you sacrificed yourself, but now you're, you're uh, looking after yourself, you're loving yourself, and your aura is expanding and growing, and other people are starting to notice you. So that's the positivities, that, uh, positive opportunities that you're manifesting, and I think that's a beautiful shift in your life, so well done. Um, that's all the messages I have for you today. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you feel it resonated. Sending you much love. Bye for now.